Yo, what is good, Mafia? You asked for it, so I'm about to give y'all this lethal TikTok ads advanced scaling strategy that's gonna be able to get your ads from doing just a few hundred dollars a day to making those 30K per month consistently while maintaining your ROAS. And this strategy is only gonna work if you're already advertising, you're getting a few sales here and there, but you wanna be able to scale while keeping your profit and maintaining ROAS, all right? This is the same ad strategy that was able to take my boy Zach from doing a thousand dollar euros to over 37k per week okay so this is a very lethal strategy and if you have some data on your pixel if you deploy this you can get scaling very very quickly i'm talking about like 3k 10k per days now if you remember what i mentioned on last week's video that's the testing strategy you should deploy that strategy before you get here because like i said you're gonna need some data so at this point if everything has gone well and you followed that testing strategy i'll actually link that video up here for you if you want to check that out what you should have by now is a winning audience and a winning ad creative if you have these two things that means that you're able to move to the next stage now what is a winning audience and a winning ad creative a winning ad creative is any ad that has above a 1.5 percent click-through rate on TikTok ads. A winning audience is an audience that is giving you very low cost per clicks, preferably below a dollar. If you could get it below 50 cents, even better. That just goes to show how much more scalable you are. And any CPM below $25. That's very, very healthy. That means that we're going to be able to scale this product pretty quickly and we're able to basically push this ad using this custom strategy that I'm about to review. All right, once you have those things put together, we have to know our numbers, okay? This is a very dangerous strategy, so you gotta know your numbers when you deploy it. You can make a lot of money very, very fast, but you can also lose a lot of money very, very fast if you don't do this the right way. So please try and implement this in a very strategic manner. Do not rush it, okay? You're gonna need to know your ROA, your return on ad spend. Now, a lot of times, like I mentioned, people don't really care about their numbers. They're kind of just hoping that they're going to make a profit. A simple and solid way to know your numbers is to use this ROA calculator. I'll link it down in the comments if you want. And you could go ahead and just plug in your numbers, okay? When you come in, just make sure you click file and then make a copy. And then that way you could come over here and just plug in your numbers. So let's say I have a product that costs, um, let's say it costs $15 and I'm selling it for 40 Okay, what it's going to do is generate a list of required row asses. And this is basically going to tell us at what point is our ad unprofitable or profitable. Okay, so what you have to do is uh, put 5%. What you have to do is analyze the numbers and see, okay, if I want to make a 30% net profit on my product, then I'm going to need a row ass of 3.0. All right. And if I want to make like break even, basically that's like 5% net profit, then the minimum that my ad should be producing is a 1.73. So you want to keep these numbers in mind and just say, all right, every time I come into my ads dashboard, if the ad group is not producing at least a 1.73 row ass, of course, it's going to change depending on your product, then I'm going to cut this ad off. All right. So that's going to be your cutoff point. You need to know this number because as we start to scale very fast, we're going to need to keep an eye out on the ads that are not performing the best. And we're going to need to cut those out as soon as possible and keep the profitable ones. All right. Now that we have our winning ad, we have our winning audience and we know our numbers. Let's go ahead and deploy this strategy. Now, obviously, I, I do a giveaway every single video. We're going to get to the ad strategy right here. But if you want to enter that giveaway, go ahead and comment down below scale plus whatever comment, question or concern you might have regarding this tactic. And I'll pick one lucky person for free mentorship for a full month one month of absolutely free mentorship i'll pick one lucky person in the next week hit a like on this video and i'll really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button for more content just like this one all right so let's go into the ads dashboard now uh like i said you want to pick your best performing ad so i usually sort it by the highest click-through rates but th here's an example of two ads that have the highest click-through rate but one has gotten more conversions so obviously i'm going to pick the one that got more conversions that seems to be the best one so i'll come over here all right i'll select that one and then all i'm going to do is copy that ad into a new campaign now so i'm going to call this phase three 
because we did phase two already, which was the audience testing. But I'm gonna call this phase three bid ladder. And what we're gonna do is make three of these ads. Okay, so I'm gonna call this bid one, bid two, and bid three. And then what we're gonna do is copy. We'll make sure that we review our work here. So on the campaign level, everything stays the same. Continue. All right. Uh, on the ad group level, what we're going to do is name this one uh, bid one. All right. So we'll pick our pixel right here. All right. We can optimize for purchases at this point because that's where uh, that's ultimately our goal. Right. We want to make some sales. And then what I'll do is I'll come down here. I'll keep everything the same because we've done the hard work of picking our audience already. So keep everything exactly the same. I'm going to come down here and then set our daily budget to a hundred dollars. And then I'm going to set the schedule to the next day at midnight. All right. Midnight or 6 a.m. It doesn't matter because I have the day parting set to 6 a.m. right here. So I'll set that up right here and then we'll go conversions. Now, here's the trick. We're going to go with cost cap. This is based off of us knowing our numbers. If we know that we want to make $45 um, on every purchase and it costs us about 15, that gives us $30 of room to work with. So hypothetically speaking, we can go with our bid for up to $30 because we know we'll break even or get some upsells and be profitable. But so we want to make more money and as much profit as possible. So what we'll do is we'll start with their suggested bid. All right. TikTok is really good at giving you suggested bids so you can adopt those. So I'll just click this. This first ladder is going to be 796. Now, once we continue the next campaign or the next ad that we actually run is going to end up being a different bid amount. So we're going to we're going to split test the bid amounts now to see which bid is getting us the most profitable purchases. So I'm going to go over here. Everything else stays the same. We're going to publish this ad right here. All right. So just for simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and put a filter on this campaign. As you can see, I got bid one here. So I duplicated the ads. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete these. I actually meant to uh, do the ad groups. All right. So we'll go ahead and delete those right here. So the actual structure that we're going to want is one campaign. We're going to want three ad groups. All right. So it's going to look a little bit like this. And then each ad group is going to have that winning ad. OK, the difference between the ad groups is going to be the bid. So this is going to be the seven ninety six. This one is going to be eight dollars ninety six. And this one is going to be nine dollars and ninety six cents. And then we're basically they're going to perform and behave differently based off of the bid amounts. We'll take the most profitable one. And that's going to be the one that we scale with. You only need about one ad group of these types to be able to hit a thousand dollars a day. So each ad group is capable of doing over a thousand dollars a day. All right. So what we'll do is we'll come back here. We got our bid one set up, right? We got one campaign. We got our one ad group. So all I'm going to do is duplicate this two more times. This one is going to be bid two. This one is going to be bid three. All right. And we'll put them in the existing campaign copy. We'll select everything else exactly the same. Make sure that it's set to the next day. And don't worry because the budget is at $100 a day. It's not going to spend that much. All right. We're starting our bids very low. It's not going to spend much. You'll probably end up spending about $40 to $50 a day. And then as we get a grip on what our actual numbers are after this bid amount, then we'll be able to scale very fast. We'll be able to hook it up with like a $500 a day budget. But we'll know that it's going to get every purchase for $8 a pop. And that's what leads to the predictability. That's what leads to the aggressive scale. And you're going to be able to burn through your ad very, very quickly. So this bid two campaign right here is going to be a $8 and 96 cents bid. All right. So we'll just go $8 here. And then the bid three is going to be the $9 and 96 cents bid. All right. So at that point, we're able to continue we'll be able to launch these ads now. And if you guys want mentorship, if you're watching to this point, um, you could probably use some help when it comes to scaling your ads. If you want mentorship, I'm going to have the link down below in the description. So here's what the setup actually looks like. I'm just going to filter this so we see exactly what we're working with. I'm going to go boom. So this phase three ad is going to have three different ad groups. All right. And each one is going to have a different bid, as you can see right here. And then each ad group 
is gonna have one ad creative, our best one that we used from last week testing. All right, now just wait, keep an eye out on this. Don't stay too long without checking up on it. All right, see if it's actually spending throughout the day. If it's not, increase the bid by a few cents. All right, um, the thing is you wanna check this every six hours and you wanna make sure that it's actually delivering. Again, it's not gonna spend your full budget, but we wanna see which one is able to get us the best clicks which one is going to be able to get us the cheapest cost per purchase and usually what i notice with this is that when you do the cost cap instead of doing the lowest cost option you're able to squeeze out the market and beat your competition because you're going to TikTok and telling it hey i want the best quality buyers here's how much i'm willing to pay go get me those purchasers rather than the lowest cost people all you're doing is saying hey TikTok, here's twenty dollars try and find me as much purchases as possible so you're gonna get better quality doing this and you're gonna get a higher conversion rate. You're gonna see that your click-through rate is higher and your cost per click is gonna go down because these are higher quality audience. So they're more likely to click. If you got some value out of this video, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. I'm looking forward to selecting the giveaway winner. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you stay updated with that. I'll be posting it on my stories very soon and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.